Hey guys, I just thought I'd um, update a video of the Sulu's iPad app, the Meridian Sulu's iPad app. Um, when I was looking to buy my um, MC200 from Meridian, I really wanted to see if there was any videos online that could show me the, um, the, the interface of the um, software, but there wasn't any. So I just wanted to post something up and maybe it will help you guys make a decision if you actually want to invest in it. Um, not everyone has access to uh, a dealer close by and um, my dealer didn't even have one running so I had to buy it sort of blind. Um, so I hope this helps some of you who are on the fence, so to say, make a decision. I'll just start with the, um, the unit itself. It's a really nice unit, it just sits there, it's about 10 inch square. It's, it's a really compact thing. Um, you've got the vents on the top that are kind of synonymous with the design language on the... Um, the G-series processors. Um, one thing is this, this LED light, it's so bright. You could, I think, land, land planes with that thing. Um, maybe they'll allow some kind of firmware upgrade to dim it or turn it off. Um, I don't really want to start putting black tape all over it, but when I'm watching movies on the, on the projector, it gets, it's pretty bright. Um, the, the cables are recessed in the back, which is a really nice touch. And it just has a toggle, toggle switch on the back. You just switch it on and you just leave it on. And you just uh, hook it up to the router. And, and, and it's as simple as that. So the unit itself is really, really nice. Um, just go back to the, to the iPad. So, I'll just switch it on. And just launch the app. The app finds the um, the IP and network address of the um, of my wireless system, and then this is how it looks. This is essentially how the interface is. At the top, you see the zone. You see the zone where it says, uh, obviously, my Sulu zone. I've only got one zone in the system. You've got swim functions, so you can um, you can swim through. These are the default swim settings on the Sulu app. Um, and when you come down here, you've got a sort of breadcrumb kind of system. So if you go to, if you want to play music, you just go to my library. These all are, and then you go, you can either go artists, channels, that's all my radio stuff. I moved from the UK a while ago to Denmark. It's really nice now because now I can uh, listen to all sorts of. Um, radio stations. Um, recently imported, genres, decades, you can uh, navigate your music via decade, tags, I've got tags. So if I want to listen to my high-res content then I can just click on this and and go through it. And you can always go back really easily as well. It's just really smooth the way it navigates left and right. So if I want to click on this uh, particular artist, you can click on the uh, arrow next to it. It brings up these options. And you can play the album now, for example. It just plays the music. All the ones that are highlighted in blue on the album are called picks. Now these are something you can, you can manually select on the um, Control Mac or Control PC software. Now when you pick an album, so if I, so if I pick, um, you, can, you can say play album picks or cue album picks. Um, and then all the content that you pick down here ends up in this list. And this is your essentially your playlist of uh, music. And it shows cued, played and playing. Which is really nice. If you want to remove stuff that you've listened to, you just go remove and then remove played and it just removes it from the list. You get the small album artwork um, and then obviously your time slider and your, your, your functions here. The, um, the volume here, it doesn't work on this because it's digital um, connection. If it's analog then you have full uh, control of these features but I don't have that. So I'm running um, digital out. So, that's an example of that. Um, if I just go back, 
um, like I say, you've got channels. You can um, you can save your channels here, or you can you can search. So there's um, every DAB radio station. I think you can search for it. So you, you can search for everything via music and all these different different genres here, which is really cool. Um, if I go back, the one thing that I'm I've just sort of unlocked and realised is the Rhapsody integration. Now this is fantastic. Um, a friend of mine set up an account for me in the States and um, you don't need a American IP address. Uh, the, Sulu, the Sulus will pick it up and run it. And this is just a bit of a revolution really. It's unlocked so much music. Like if I go music guide and then just top albums, it will show the, the current top albums in the charts. So you've got all of this content, and if you say click on an artist, just play a track, you obviously come up here. And that's playing the track. But if I want to go to, say, an artist here, I'll just show you, it wasn't very clear. If I just click uh, on the arrow, I can just say play album now and it'll play, play the album. And if I, if I say want to add it, want to add that album to my integrated list of artists, I just click on it and I go add to my library. And then if I go back to my library and then artists. And then if I do a search for see it brings it up click these are all the um, the albums I've added it I've added it twice and then um, you you've got all your tracks here so you can you can play the album as a full just don't change. just flip through the tracks it's really it's really really nice and then you can you can remove you can remove all from the list so it clears it out so it's a really nice way to um, unlock music content the thing is it's um when I look at my library for example and then artists it's becoming the more I um, and I haven't got a massive collection but the more I add it's becoming a bit of a iTunes list is what it feels like so it's becoming a bit more difficult to navigate music. Um, maybe in the future there'll be some kind of super app that comes out that gives you the Sulu's experience, the unique value of the, um, the product itself. Um, but let's see in the future. Um, so that's, uh, if I go back to Rhapsody, another cool thing is that you've got genres which is really awesome because I have this on in the background so you can pick a genre and I'm a big comedy fan so I just found this last night so if you like comedy and you just go like comedy all artists you've just got all of these comedians just just at your fingertips just hundreds so for example if you click on one and you click on all albums, main releases, you've got all of these comedy shows. So if I just click on one, and then you can, it treats it like an album. So it even breaks down per, per sketch. Just say play now. First of all, I want to draw for you the mother. It's really nice. So I hope that gives you some insight of the, the app. I'm super happy with it. I'm super happy with the uh, the MC200 product. If if you're kind of on the fence about investing into into the product itself, I hope this um, this short video helps you see what the um, how the application navigates and so on. And um, yeah, and that's it.